have a new business here that is connected to the restaurant. So we have a wine tasting room, uh, which has uh, professional wine associates that uh, lead people through the wine tasting and express um, aspects of my wine that I, I'm not able to, uh, I'm not good at doing that. They are so good at it and so they can, they can explain my wines better than I can. But in the meantime, we serve food, uh, lunch, and, and after lunch uh, appetizers all day here at the, rest, at the tasting room, which is right next door to the restaurant. So we've, I basically, you know, had two businesses uh, before, a, a, a restaurant and a winery. And they're both kind of full-time big businesses uh, for me. And now I have a tasting room and then a lunch restaurant, uh, kind of a separate. So now there's four, four businesses and because the tasting room and the lunch are new, I'm very involved in making sure it's set up right, it runs correctly. Um, so I've been, I've been working a lot and, um, and it's, but it's working really well. And um, I kind of thought that maybe um, we were only gonna be maybe 10, 15 more years in the restaurant and then I, I don't know what's gonna happen to that, to that restaurant, I, I wasn't concerned. Now that we have um, 12 acres here, uh, the ability to start a farm and grow vegetables, to do the wine and food and have enough space, I think we'll, we're, this, is, this is going to be here for 50 or 100 years, uh, long after me. Um, so I don't, I used to think that I had to become known <laughs> that I would have to have a restaurant in Napa Valley because in California, Napa Valley is the most famous wine place. And um, so I thought I was gonna have to go up there to, be, to become well known. And then little did I know that the world would come to us be, because of Sideways and also because of the quality, uniqueness and the compelling reasons for people to come visit here, are uh, it's a beautiful region. We are we are blessed with wonderful weather, um, the ability to grow extremely high quality grapes to make high quality wine. That we have so much to learn still, and um, and we will continue to get better every year. And I can just see that the Hitching Post restaurant and tasting room and lunch. It's just, a, it's just something that's going to be a part of this. We're a part of the history that's here, a uh, long family history and long history in the wine business. For us in California, 40 years is a long time because uh, we're just a new, a new industry. I mean, um, especially this part of California. And to be a part of it, um, I'm, I feel blessed and I just feel that we will continue, continue this for as long after I'm here. So I'm now want to set it up for my employees and my my children. I we're we're setting up for the future. We're not going anywhere. Previously we made Merlot, we made Chardonnay, we made Cabernet, and then in 81 we made Pinot Noir. Wow, we were smitten. We were blown away with how wonderful Pinot Noir is. So we focused on making Pinot Noir. We're known for making Pinot Noir. If you come to our tasting room, don't come with any expectations. 
but I submit that when you come, you will find the space very comfortable, uh, very easy to be in. You can bring your children. We have games for kids. Uh, you can bring your dog. We have water bowls for your dogs and uh, beautiful views of the ostrich farm. You can see ostrich off in the distance. And in the spring, when the grounds are full of wildflowers, we have a meadow that has wildflowers and beautiful green meadows. So it's a beautiful site, a beautiful place to come, comfortable and enjoyable.